This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Oh, we just ended it there? Okay. Interesting. Alrighty. The weekend behind us, we're back in the classroom. As the day's lessons reach their conclusion, Sachi leads us into the frontal bow that marks the end of every frontal bow that marks the end of every school day. I thought we were going archery training. The weekdays are nice and simple. Given a set schedule, I can coast peacefully through it without having to worry about how I'm spending my time, or about being insulted over my lack of interests. I shoulder my bag and leave the classroom. After dropping my stuff off in my room, I find myself heading to the roof of the dormitory for no reason in particular. When I can't think of anything to do with myself, sometimes I'll search out places where I can be alone and look at the sky. I wouldn't say that I prefer solitude, but every once in a while I'm seized with the need to get a break from the clamor of daily life, which has been very noisy indeed lately. Hmm? As I swing the door open slowly, I realize there's someone already on the roof. The instant I set foot outside, she's staring at me with a slightly suspicious look on her face. Thought so. Hey, Prince Dusk! What's up? Sorry, but we do live in the same building. We're going to run into each other sometimes. So, can I come up? Having obtained Sakaki's ascent, I stand beside the handrail and gaze up into the sky. It's a vivid shade of blue today. The sun shines powerfully down on us. I can feel heat rising off the iron railing in front of me. After a moment, Sakaki turns to me and breaks the silence. Yes. No, I'm awake. Would you prefer me to talk about something? Or ask you questions? I see. In that case, I'll do what I can I feel like. <sighs> Sakaki tilts her head slightly back and gazes into the sky for a long moment. Her long hair catches the sea breeze and flutters like a flag. She's opening up a bit. Why do you ask? True, now that you mention it. I lean forward and grip the warm iron railing with both hands as I speak. Every once in a while, I guess, just to look at the sky by myself. It's all the money I have, Arthur. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Prince Dusk, thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. Ooh, we got the lucky free leaf clovers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you so much. Uh, what, what did she just say? Oh, oh, that's what she was saying. It really is every once in a while. Anyway, that's the only reason I came up here. So. Everyone has times when they want to be alone, right? <laughs> worth it for the alert. I try to have funny alerts. That way it makes people it makes it worth people's while. <laughs> no, we're talking about me here. The sunlight today really is powerful. Very much a midsummer day. The shadow of a kite flying overhead it moves slowly across the roof, wings and beak clearly defined it against the concrete. As I follow the shadow's movement with my eyes, Sakaki borts out unexpected words. About what? Sakaki turns her face ever so slightly toward me as she speaks. Uh, I know what you're talking about, Nick. The, there are some sound effect buttons, but people tend to abuse those. <laughs> also, I can't even figure out how to get them to work. Yeah, I did ask, remember? You told me you didn't want to talk about it, so I haven't brought it up since then. If you changed your mind about that, I assume you'd let me know. I'm not looking to stick my nose in other people's business. I turn my head slightly towards Sakaki, meeting her gaze out of the corner of my eye. With the exception of when someone wants me to. That policy isn't limited to Sakaki. I'm trying not to interfere with any of the students here more than necessary. Yeah, I mean, if, if everyone is here for, like, 
a deep personal reason that like they can't be at other schools, it's probably not something you want to just be like, hey, so what's your deal? <laughs> I don't dislike any of them, and I don't have any reason to go out of my way to avoid them, but all the same, I don't have any reason to get closer to them. That said, when they're the ones approaching me, there's no need to reject them either. I'm trying to maintain that subtle balance, as my master taught me. <laughs> Sakaki stares steadily at my face. Her expression lies somewhere between puzzlement and curiosity. I don't know what's gotten into her interest all of a sudden, but it's clearly different from her usual apathetic gaze. What is it? At my question, Sakaki ex exhales slightly and closes her eyes. Oh, she's got the nice smile. Sakaki abruptly walks away from the ra railing and heads for the stairs. Halfway there, she pauses briefly and looks back in my direction. Right. At my concise response, Sakaki's expression again takes on a shade of bemusement. Everyone's odd here. You yourself said it. For some reason, I get that a lot. Honestly, can't understand why. For a moment, there's a rare smile on Sakaki's face. Hmm. Yeah. Sakaki opens the iron door and disappears inside the dorm. The kite I've been watching draws a lazy arc in the sky, as if to wave farewell, and then floats out of sight. The sun begins its slow descent toward the horizon as the evening approaches. I push myself back on the railing and walk slowly towards the stairs, feeling the sun-worn concrete underneath my feet. An odd one, huh? Don't know if you're one to talk. Her hypocrisy is kind of charming. It feels like I've been lectured about drinking too much by an alcoholic. For some reason, I feel like I've warmed up to Sakaki a bit. Maybe we've got more in common than I realized. Oh, we're going shopping! Oh, are we going shopping with Michiru? They're in their school uniform, so is this like a school trip? いや、調子に乗って買いすぎちゃった。あんたね、一人で行ったいどんだけ買い物してんのよ。私一人の分じゃないってば。マキナの分とユージの分と。あ、そうだ、ミチル。あんたちょっと付き合ってくれない？ショ
It's, it's cheap, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> Amine is just storing all of her food in our fridge because it's large. Stop stripping! <sighs> because you're stripping in the, for literally no reason. Alright, Michiru is, I think, officially my favorite girl. <laughs> <sighs> this isn't your room! And you don't change in front of other people! Thank you, Michiru! Well, you stopped in the middle. Because she is very weird. Michiru, I have nothing to do with this. This is all Amine. <laughs> Prince Dusk, yes, she does have her own room. She's just doing this because, I don't know, she, she wants to have her way with us. She's awful. <laughs> Michiru, do you have a TV in your room? Can I watch Veggie Tales in your room? <laughs> a, she's not our sister. She's just trying to convince us that she is. And B, sisters don't strip in front of their brothers. あ、そこは開けちゃダメよ。ユージ本気で怒るから。なんで行ってみればその一畳半の部屋がユージの資質なのよ。え、だってここクローゼットだよ。ガンズ。ラッツガンズ。だから開けちゃダメだってば。それに
It's, it's rare you meet a guy who doesn't like meat, to be honest. At least out of the people, out of the guys I've met. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's Kirby in the way that he eats food and doesn't really care what it is. But I think he actually does use utensils. Well, Kirby's got a big mouth, too. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Oh boy. Wow! I'm getting really sick of everyone just talking so such trash to Michiru. No, it wasn't Michiru. <laughs> Meta Knight and Marks. Nice. My oh yeah, we've had a lot of fatalities in, the, in this game. In just this dream. It's weird not having Yuji here. I think what's happening is that Amine's room is just slowly filling with more of Makina's toys, and then as that's getting filled, she has to move the kitchen stuff to Yuji's room, who has the biggest room and doesn't use it. And then Amine, then Amine strips. For no reason. Other than fan service. Do you not know what salt is? Oh wow, Michiru. I think Michiru is just ordering Pizza Hut every single meal. Ah, Oh, <laughs> no, what, what tipped you off, Prince Dusk? <laughs> Could it be that she keeps getting naked in our room? Or half naked? I think, by the way, I am playing the censored version of the game. And I've been told that in the actual game, like, Amine actually just strips completely naked. And it's like, who want? nobody wants to see that. Actually, the problem is a lot of people want to see that. I do not. はい、<笑><笑> <laughs> Unless your name is Gusto, you follow the recipe. True. She's not bragging. Amine's parents own a restaurant. Uh-oh, is this where she's putting sleeping pills in? Ah, Huh。え、本当に。なんかべちゃべちゃになってない。このべちゃべちゃがええやないの。ゆうじ、うろんちゃ好きだしね。え、そんな理由。なんか。雑。I <laughs> usually don't do visual novels either. I literally played this one cuz I was told it had a really good story. And the story thus far is taken a long time to get kicked off, but I do like how it's in skit form. But I could do without all of the fan service, to be fair. 
One of the reasons I really like Clonade, there was almost no of that, none of that. Depends on how you crimp it. Don't you need more than that? I don't know how small these dumplings are. Um, uh, Marty, yeah, you might, you might not want to watch this with your friends. Maybe not. <laughs> right now they're just making dumplings, but you've seen this game, you know what that can turn into. <laughs> Have a good one, Marty. Oh, but Marty, Backyard Baseball is returning Monday, so... Oh, yay! They're inviting Michiru, too. Oh, I'm actually liking this character interaction. This is really nice. Oh, brother. I've been getting some ne'er do wells. <laughs> uh, Prince Dusk, I promise it's not going to start earlier than uh, 8 p.m. Just, just for the heads up. I told you the reception on the TV in the lobby was getting bad, didn't I? Sachi and I were trying to fix the antenna. Yeah, although we ended up having to replace the antenna. Look, forget me. What are you two doing in here? I'm asking why you're doing that in my room. I don't remember asking for any. Well, can't let food go to waste. たべたらたべたでおいしいっていうくせにそういうのを積んでれって言うんだよ。ミチルエ。ああ、そっか。ちょっとユージ。ああ、ワット。別にあんたのために作ってるんじゃないんだからね。自分の分を作るついでよ。
そんで餃子作った私にも感謝しなさいよもう<laughs> Guys, I, I, me sure just got a pogo stick. Oh, is that all? Of course, I'm grateful to you both. I appreciate it, Michiru. Yes, it is, Prince Dusk. And this is honestly one of the more normal parts. Soon after, the wafting scent of frying gyoza lured Makina to my room. Sachi, concerned to find Michiru's room empty, also stopped by before alone. At that point, we adopted a resolution to invite Sakaki as well, initiate an extraordinary increase in dumpling production, and engage in a gyoza pig-out party. Okay, that's pretty cool. The Mahama Female Gyoza Corps was then established under the command of Suo Amane, <laughs> Komunisachi, to, produce, uh, to pursue the objectives. All members heard we scraped together ingredients from their fridge. Our goal was set at 120... Wow, it actually cut off at the end there. The results of this emergency production varied widely in quality. There were a number of respectable dumplings, filled with relatively appropriate things like bean jam or cheese. Um, the first one of those is not appropriate. But also some truly bizarre results, such as fish stick gyoza and wiener gyoza. Soon dozens of dumplings were arrayed in front of the hot plate. Much like the weapons brought to battle by an army on the verge of defeat, the variation was rich, if not the quality. We began testing a wide range of dipping sauces as well, even leading to even stranger combinations of tastes. Fortunately, Makina quickly complained that eating them plain tastes better. The group's experimental spirit restrained at last. The gyoza pig-out party drew to a close without any major casualties. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> One thing I've learned about playing Fruit of Grisea is that I really can't handle much more than two hours of it at a time. So I'm going to end the stream there. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. It was cool talking to you all. And if you tune in on Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Backyard Baseball will return for Season 2. It's going to be epic, and people who are there might be able to vote on who gets on my team for the new season. So definitely you all should check that out if you're interested. And other than that, that was an interesting stream. Definitely, I liked the character interactions that time, even if I could do without some of the fan service stuff. Anyhow... Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I hope that God blesses you wherever you are. Peace out.